so hello everyone welcome to dcc nita youtube channel today we will be solving problem c which is escoding subsequence from code forces round 856 div 2 so i hope you have already read the problem and uh, tried it yourself if you, if you have already not tried it yourself i will highly encourage you to try it yourself first then come back to this video if you are stuck so now let's read the problem the problem says the score of a sub the score of a sequence s1 s2 up to sd is defined as s1 into s2 into sd upon d factorial where d factorial is 1 into 2 into up to d so in particular also it is given that uh, the score of an empty subsequence is 1 so for a sequence s1 up to sd let m be the maximum s score among uh, among all its subsequences its cost is defined as the maximum length of a subsequence with a score of m you are given a non-decreasing sequence a1 up to an an of integers of length n. In other words, the condition a1 is less than equals to a2 less than equals to up to a of n is satisfied. For each k equals to 1, 2, up to n, the cost of the sequence a1 find the cost of the sequence a1, a2 up to a k. A sequence x is a subsequence of a sequence y if x can be obtained from y by, y by deletion of several possibly zero or all elements. What it means is if we are given 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, so any any subsequence from 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 will be, if we remove suppose 3 and 4, then 1, 2, 5 will be one subsequence. If we remove 1 and 2, then 3, 4, 5 will be one subsequence. So I hope the this is clear. So now let us understand the problem. So suppose, suppose we are given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as example, as an array. So let's go to the whiteboard. Okay. Now let's understand the let's understand the problem first. So suppose we are given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 as a array. So we have to find the find the maximum maximum cost. Sorry, I mean minimum length for the maximum cost for every k equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n. Here n is 6. So what it means is when k equals to 1, your array will be 1. When k equals to 2, your array will be 1, 2. When k equals to 3, your array will be 1, 2, 3. Now for k equals to 1, what, what are the subsequences we have? We have 1 and uh, for this 1, what can be the maximum? Let's go to the question once again. So the maximum score among all its subsequences. Its cost is defined as the maximum length of a subsequence with a score m. So first of all, we have to find a subsequence whose score is maximum. And uh, you know, if there are more than one subsequence whose score is maximum, then we have to find such subsequence whose length is maximum and we have to return its length. So now let's go to the whiteboard. So here we have only one subsequence. So here the here we will do 1 upon 1 which will be 1 so here the answer is 1 and length will be 1 so now here we can have 1 upon 1 1 into 2 upon 1 into 2 and we can have 2 upon 1 so here we will get uh, uh, cost as 1 and here we will get cost as 1 and here we will get cost as 2 so 2 is the maximum among all these 3 and here length is length is 1 so here answer will be 1 now let's look at k equals to 3 where the array will be 1 2 and 3 so here we will have let's go okay. let's understand this one so here we have k equals to 3 so our array our array is 1 2 and 3 now here what are the subsequences we can have 1 1 2 1 3 1 2 3 and uh, 1 2 3 and we can have 1 3 1 2 1 and we can also have 2 3 okay now here we have to find the cost for all these subsequences so here cost will be 1 upon 1 1 into 2 upon 1 into 2 here will be 1 into 3 upon 1 into 3 here the cost will be 1 into 2 into 3 upon 1 into 2 into 3 here the cost will be 2 into 3 upon 1 into 2. So now here it will be 1, 
one, 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 and here it will be three two two six upon three, and also one of one subsequent will be only three, and one will be only two. So three upon one equals to three, two upon one equals to two. So among all these, among all these, we have maximum cost as three and three in these two cases. And out of these two cases, we have to take that subsequence which have the maximum length. So this subsequence has the length two, and this subsequence has the length one. So we will take this as the answer for this for k equals to three. Answer will be two. Similar similarly, we will do for k equals to four and k equals to five and so on. Now let's understand the crux of this problem. So how how are we deciding? How are we deciding in th these two cases? Where two into three upon one into two and three upon one. So if you look closely, if you look closely, so for always for any k equals to suppose say four, we will have one into two into three into four upon four upon one into two into three into four. So what we will we do is uh, how was this how 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 we get three here? So first it would have been one into two into three upon one into two into three. So we remove this one from numerator and three from the denominator. So we got two into three upon one into two, and this this gave us three. So so what you have to understand here is we try to whenever we find a new numerator which is less than a smallest numerator which is less than the greatest denominator then we remove those then we remove that numerator and that denominator let's see here we had 1 into 2 into 3 upon 1 into 2 into 3 so here we removed 1 from above and 3 from the below so what we removed actually 1 by 3 which was approximately let's say 0 0.333 so this was not doing good any to the cost either. This was just decreasing the cost. So after this, we have two into three upon one into two. Can we remove any numerator and denominator now? So numerator, the smallest numerator here is two, and greatest denominator here is two. So if we try, we have we will get no benefit from removing two upon two because it is one and it is not decreasing the whole cost. And if we remove two from above, two from the sequence, then it will be result into three by one. Which will eventually decrease its length, so we won't do this. And uh, let's see, let's see another example. Suppose we had three into four upon one into two. So this is this was our subsequence for any let's say any k, and then below we have one into two because there is only two element, so two factorial. So can we remove anything here? So suppose we remove three here, that means we 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 get. We remove 3 by 2 and we get 4 by 1 as result. So 3 by 2 will be 1.5. So 1.5 removing is not a good idea because 1.5 is just increasing the cost. So if we remove 3 from the above and 2 from the below, it will decrease the whole cost. So we, we are not going to do this here. Suppose we remove 4. So we will get 3 by 1 and we have removed 4 by 2, which is 2. So two, 2 removing 2 is not a good idea because 2 was increasing the whole cost. So first of all our priority is so our priority is first in keep the co keep the cost maximum keep the cost maximum and then our second priority is then our okay then our second priority is keep the length maximum. So since we are doing this greedily, so we will always have the maximum length. So what what we have to do is what we have to do is suppose we had we had a array given as 2, 6, 9, 10, 12. So for k equals to one, k equals to 1, we had 2, k equals to 2, we have array as 2, 6, k equals to 3, we have array as 2, 6, 9. So what we have to do is for every k, we will keep a priority queue. We will keep a priority queue and uh, we will keep putting element into this priority queue. So first we put the 2 in this priority queue and we see because every element in the priority queue is, in, is the elements in the numerator because it is the subsequence and in the denominator 
we have just we have just the size factorial so what is size size of the priority queue suppose in the priority queue we currently have the element 269 so actually we have 2 into 6 into 9 upon size factorial which is 3 factorial that is 1 into 2 into 3 now we will see what can be removed from here so the smallest numerator is 2 and greatest denominator is 3 can we remove 2 if we remove 2 it will become 6 into 9 upon 1 into 2 Yeah, when can we remove two? Because two is less than three. That means if we remove two, we will remove two by three from the whole whole cost. So two by three was less than one. So it was remove. It was decreasing the whole cost. So it will be beneficial to remove two. Now we have six into nine upon one into two. Can we remove six? No, we can't remove six because six is um, six is the smallest numerator and it is greatest greater than the greatest denominator. So since six is greater than two. If we remove six, then we will be removing six by two from the whole cost, which will be three. And three was just increasing, increasing the whole cost. So let's go to the code, and I will just explain you what we we are going to do. So here, let's see. First, we have take, taken the in, input array, and now I will define a priority queue, and uh, we will keep pushing all the element in the priority queue. So We, and we are multiplying it by minus one because we are creating here a min min priority queue, which means whenever we pick, we pick a element from top of the priority queue, it will be the smallest element in the priority queue. So here, here while we are while size of the priority queue is greater is greater than the minus one into p dot top, but it means size of the priority queue. So here, let's. Look from this example. So here we had two into six into nine upon one into two into three. So this is the element in the priority queue. So size of the priority queue is three. So what I mean by size of the priority queue is the maximum element in the denominator, which is this three. So is size of the priority queue greater than the smallest element in the numerator? Yes, this is greater than the smallest smallest element in the numerator. So we will remove this two, and we have the new. Sequences six into nine upon one into two. We will again check here. Size of the priority queue is not two. So by this two, we mean the greatest element in the denominator. So is two greater than six? No, this is not greater than six. So here we will stop, and then our answer will be size of the priority queue. Size of priority queue, which is two here. So since since we were given that the size we were given here. In particular, the score of an empty sequence is one. So we will we will be printing answer as maximum of one comma t one. T one is nothing but the size of the priority queue. So so suppose we have two elements remaining in the priority queue. Suppose we have two elements remaining in the priority queue. So here here only six and nine remaining in the priority queue, and we can't remove any element further. So this is the maximum cost. Maximum cost is six into nine upon one into two, and we have to print the length. So we are printing the P dot size that is size of the priority queue here two and uh, we are printing maximum of one comma size of the priority queue because uh, because if any if it's empty priority queue the answer will be one and we we can't print zero even if if it's empty priority queue because we have already given that we have already given that the score of an empty sequence is one so I hope the solution is clear and if you still have any doubt you can ask in the comment section I will try to answer it. Thank you for watching.